Progressive advocacy groups are suing Mississippi officials over a new state law requiring permission to hold public protests near state government buildings in the capital city of Jackson. Now let me remind you that those very buildings are paid for with taxpayers dollars, but don't let that truth get in the way of this foolishness and mayhem. A law suit filed last week by an undivided coalition, Mississippi voters, Mississippi Poor People's Campaign, Black Voters Matter and a trio of activists challenges Senate Bill 2343, which is set to take effect on July the 1st. The legislation requires prior prior approval from Public Safety Commissioner Sean Tindo or Capitol Police Chief Bo Lucky for public demonstrations on the grounds of or near state government buildings, including the Capitol complex, governor's mansion, state Supreme Court and other edifices. The JXN undivided coalition and its members have for years engaged in the deeply American tradition of peacefully gathering on public property to convey to elected official officials what matters most to us. What matters most to us is the right to vote and the right of political self-determination for Jackson residents. We, we, we have spoken and the state has responded with a sweeping prohibition of speech next to properties in Jackson occupied by state officials absent prior authorization. We should not have to risk arrest and imprisonment for exercising our constitutional rights, including freedom of speech and equal protection under the law. Now this is being reported by Common Dreams. Thank you, Brett, for that. And this is a statement by JX. In coalition. Now, the lawsuit, according to the lawsuit, this year Mississippi made peaceful protests on public sidewalks and streets next to state government buildings in Jackson without written prior permission from one of two state officials. This new law is an unconstitutional prior restraint that does not further a constitutionally sufficient or permissible purpose. So if they can't win, you know, I mean, it seems like to me, Max, they scared of the people having voice, and that is unpatriotic and very much un-American. Yeah, I mean, not to date myself, but I came into advocacy and progressive politics during the Bush administration, during the Iraq War, Afghanistan War. And back then they needed at least the excuse of national security to say you couldn't protest and strip your rights away. Now it seems Republicans have done away with wanting an excuse at all. They're just gonna do it because it hurts them politically. And that's really the the core of the Republican strategy here is they admit the GOP can't win in a fair exchange of ideas. So what you do is you make it first difficult and then illegal to actually bring those ideas up at all. And suddenly you find the situation has resolved itself. I mean, if you declare every drag show a protest and then you outlaw protest, you've effectively outlawed drag without doing it. And it's the same plan here, just for a different purpose. And this will roll out all over the country. Yeah, it really will. I mean, they're shrewd at what they're doing. They're, they have mastered this technique. And that is another reason why, and I'm so glad David Pepper from the great state of Ohio, him and I served the Ohio Democratic Party together. But he is really focused so much, Max, as you know, on reclaiming legislatures. And really, every single day almost, you can see some lesson that he is teaching on Twitter with his whiteboard <clears throat> about how and why we are losing core democracy in this country at the hands of extreme extremist GOP. We got to call them what they are too, they are extremists too. And it's always curious that the very party that claims that the freedoms are being eroded are in fact eroding other people's freedom and using the power of the people, I say in, in some of the most vicious ways to prevent people from standing up for what they believe in. We'll definitely keep you posted for all of this.